the next few minutes I'm gonna show you how to make any character walk by animating just a simple value you can give it a path and it will go in that direction and it also reacts to the ground so it will work fine on a bumpy surface or any terrain so first I'm gonna show you what controls do we have first one is the walk it is the major control of the whole thing if I move the slider you can see the whole robotic spider thingy is moving and everything works perfectly fine the rotation of the body if you just look at it it's reacting to the ground like that so this is one control for the walk and we have other controls too in the geometry nodes section so right here is the step length it's the length of our steps the steps we can control the length of it and we have the step height if I bring this value up we'll have more higher steps so if I play this now you can see it's very high next thing we have the delay so basically this is used for the speed of our steps you can bring it down to make it slow then we have the translation it is the translation and the offset between these two like it's the length between two of these right there and then we have the scale it's basically the same thing like if we control the scale you can see what it does like we have a full control over this character and this is very flexible so you can just uh, set it the way you want it for your own character it can be a human character but if you want to parent it to a human character you gotta select this run object and hit tab and like humans have two legs right you know that if you see I have five points here these are used for the four legged characters now if I had like a two legged character I would use three points I'm going to leave the file for all these node trees in my description because I have already created it in this tutorial and it's totally free on my patreon so first when you open this file you're gonna see a robot collection here which you can replace with your own character but it needs to have some IK bones and like that you can see here because we can control them with our points later so this is important and now this uh, is the second collection which is mine first one is the body control it is a control for the whole body which is used for this bone and then it's our curve so we're telling this character to go on that way and then we have a ground object we're including it in the node tree because it is important we need to detect the ground and then avoid all the intersection and the leg moving through the ground it is very annoying and it's very hard to animate because you have to do it manually and with this node tree it's very easy you just have to recast all these points on the ground then we have the rotation corrector it's like a triangular plane which just um, helps with the rotation of the whole thing if the object is moving like on this area then the rotation changes with the normals of this area like that and it's not always moving like that straight because it's bending with the surface like that and it's important for the whole thing to work now next thing is the, the whole walk cycle and if i play with the walk value you can see what happens these, these points are moving and it's like a walk so first what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bring my character here above the points so you can parent it easily so rotate it that way and I'm gonna go with something like that make sure to save the file if you do any progress and there we have it let's bring it up a little bit now select the run object and hit tab now you'll see these points right there but these are the modified points with the geometry nodes but we have the actual points right there so now if I go to the vertex groups here and I select any of the group and then I click the button select it's selecting my vertex group which we can use for the parenting later so make sure that your vertex groups are all renamed and one by one they all are working so if uh, for some reason if you're using other versions and these are disappeared you can click these points one by one and assign a different vertex group for each of these now hit tab and right there go to the armature hit control tab to go to the pose mode in the first bone I'm going to go to the bone constraint tab and add a copy location then the target we have to select our run object which is the four points right there and in the vertex group 
try selecting it one by one until you get right here so I'm gonna select the L1 this is not the one then L2 this is also not the one if I select the R1 you can see this is the group I'm looking for so I'm gonna leave it like that let's just select this one now at a copy location you want it to parent right there to this point so I'm gonna select the run and try selecting the vertex groups one by one so let's go for R2 and this is the one and I'm gonna select this one at a copy location and now I want this point to be selected so again go with the run object and R1 or L2 L2 is perfect now I want this one to be snapped right there to this one so add a copy location select the run object and in the vertex group let's select L2 or L1 so these are parented right there now next thing we have to do is we want to parent this whole body to the body control object so add a copy location select the body control object and in the vertex group select this middle it says middle you can select this one and now it's it's selected good now next thing we have to do is we need to get out of the pose mode and I'm gonna select my armature then I'm gonna select the triangular plane so is the plane is active there and I'm gonna hit tab select everything with A hit ctrl P and make vertex parent so now our whole armature is parented to the plane thingy now things are parented correctly we want it to make it walk now how do we do this well we need to just tweak this one value but you know the other things are not moving with it so how can we make this one value drive this value and this one too at the same time like we want to animate all of them with just one slider so we're gonna use drivers for that and it's very easy don't worry it's not that uh, complicated I'm gonna select the run object I'm gonna go to the object properties and in the custom properties I'm gonna create a new one go to the settings and right there call it walk now the maximum value can be something like 500 whatever you want and that's it hit ok and this is gonna be it for the custom property now if you hit N here and go to the item right here you can see properties it's the walk property now what you want to do here right click on the walk property here and copy data path now go to the modifiers and in this walk slider right click and add a driver now it's gonna be an average value and in this input I'm gonna make it a single property and in the property select the object that you want so it's the run object in my case I'm gonna select run and in the path you just copied a path from there in the property so I'm gonna hit ctrl V to paste it here so this is it now this is gonna decide the whole uh, walk animation for us now right click here and copy driver then select the rotation object right click paste driver then select the body control right click and paste driver now if you turn off the overlays select the run object and play with this walk value you can see what's happening you're already getting the whole animation and you've done it like this is this is the whole thing now you can insert keyframes for this of course it's very easy to animate now it's just one slider and the whole character is moving with it but if you want to add a little bit of an attitude to the character you can select the body control object here and we have a little slider for the body offset and if I move it up and down you can see what happens so set the value to 1 and insert a keyframe there I'm gonna delete this one and then control tab to go to the um, graph editor hit N go to the modifiers then add in a built-in function now this is gonna be additive bring down this value bring it down and if you go to the run object if you want to add a keyframe like make it something like that right here 
I to insert a keyframe and at the this frame you can bring it right there and insert a keyframe here too. Now if you play it, it's moving. It's very slow but you can really make it faster by just tweaking the keyframes, stuff like that. It's gonna be very easy. But now you can go to the body control object and you can play with this value too which is just um, used for the up and down thing like that. Now you can see how cool it's looking and I think it works with animals and human characters too. You can hide the objects that you don't want in the render. So I'm gonna hide this one right there and it just works perfectly fine. What if we change the curve? Yes, it will work fine too. Just change the curve to whatever you want and the robot will follow the path. Just scrape this and... By the way, if you have your own ground object, you can just uh, go to the no tree for all of them one by one and select the ground object right there. But you gotta select it in all of the three uh, objects. So right there too, you can select the ground here too and in the body control right there you have a ground. But sometimes when you play with the um, length of the curve, it sometimes gets like very fast. So what you have to do is select the run object and just bring this one down. And it's gonna be slower then. I hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next one.